Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramlu. <coughs> My channel is SS Physics, yes dot yes space physics. So before watching this video, please just subscribe this channel. So let me start. So today's topic is entropy and its physical significance. So first, what is entropy? The property of substance which measures the disorder or randomness in the in a system right so physical the property of substance which measure the disorder or randomness in a system suppose let there is a one system means let it is a one box containing large number of molecules like this okay so let it contains large number of molecules and uh, suppose all these molecules are arranged in one direction in regular fashion like this okay and then their arrangement is uh, along the single line either like this or like this then uh, we can say this is a more <coughs> orderly substance it contains large number of molecules and they are odd in order then suppose by applying the heat or applying the temperature let its order is changed like this random molecules are arranged in random direction random direction means in various direction so that is we call disorder so this disorder measurement of this disorder is called entropy so like this entropy is certified the property of substance which measures the disorder or randomness in a system it is a state function like enthalpy and internal energy so it depends upon the initial and final states of a system right it is a <coughs> state function state function means what what is the state function state function means a function which depends on initial and final state that is called state function so it is a state function like enthalpy and internal energy so it depends upon initial and final state of system thus entropy change delta s can be mathematically represented as so entropy can be written as like this delta s we write delta s means final entropy minus initial entropy that is a delta s when a system undergoes a change from initial to final okay so this is when a system undergoes from initial to final then only we write entropy as delta s for reversible process entropy can be written as delta s is equals to q by t and sometimes we write it is like this also delta s is equals to dq by d dq by t so once again see what uh, this is also can be written as ds is equals to dq by dt so entropy sorry entropy also can be written as like this ds is equals to dq by dt or dq is equals to mostly we use this formula dq is equals to tds and this is also called as second law of thermodynamics am i right second law of thermodynamics applies dq is equals to tds okay dq is equals to tds it is also called as second law of thermodynamics now physical significance in a cyclic process total heat cannot be converted into work the question arises where the unused heat has gone so yes in cyclic process in carnot heat engine if you observe uh, the heat which we take from the source we uh, the substance cannot utilize whole work whole heat and the part heat it uh, utilizes part of heat and the remaining heat given to the sink okay so like this so where it has gone the answer is 
when heat is supplied to a gas only collisions with a faced with the faced of with the with the forced of with the forced of piston push the piston upward and bring about expansion of gas suppose if it is a substance and i let it is fitted with a piston like this it contain the large number of gas suppose if we give the heat energy to it for example i am giving 220 kilo calorie heat i am giving to it then it has this uh, inside it is a gas is also called as a working substance so this gas cannot utilize whole work so this gas can this gas utilize this 20 kilo calorie heat to increase its internal energy and also do the some external work on the piston then piston moves upward direction okay friends so like this uh, when when heat is uh, supplied then what happens part of uh, heat energy utilized by this uh, molecules to increase the internal energy and the remaining part is uh, utilized to work on work done on the piston so like this it cannot utilize whole work and the next the collision of gas molecules with each other and with the container are not effective collision and result in loss of some heat so when the molecules collide with the gas or collide with each other okay certain molecules certain molecules what happens certain so certain molecules what happens they collide with each other one molecule may collide with other molecules then then also some heat will produces and a few molecules collide with the walls of the container am i right so like this okay so collision of gas molecules with each with each other and with the container not effective collisions and result in loss of some heat so if the collision is effective then heat cannot be lose cannot be lost since a fraction of heat has been lost only because of random motion of gas molecules uh, we can correlate the increase in randomness that is entropy with available work since fraction of heat energy has been lost only because of random motion so what happens the gas molecules may move in random directions because of collision okay randomness means uh, if you measure is the randomness that is called we simply entropy okay so measuring of randomness is entropy next question next one when a liquid starts boiling its temperature remains its temperature remains uh, what have what constant okay what when uh, when a liquid starts boiling its temperature remains constant till which of it change into vapor through vapor through it is vapor through the heat is supplied continuously okay vapor though vapors though the heat is uh, complete supplied continuously so we know suppose if we take a vessel and uh, pour water inside it and heat the water okay so if you heat the water till it evaporate till it converted into gaseous state that is we call steam okay so while converting for it is from liquid to steam right while it is converting liquid to steam then the temperature cannot change while taking it is at process while the process taking from liquid to steam then steam means that is a gaseous state then the temperature is always constant okay so but we we supply the heat continuously where does it go okay so that question is given here the question is that why the temperature at a boiling point remains constant okay we apply the heat energy continuously but temperature do not change what what where where does what happens about the temperature he is questioning 
when is heat being utilized yes i am applying the heat continuously to it to boil the water but it shows a constant temperature but whole water converted into steam into gas state so where this uh, heat is going the answer can be given if we consider molecular arrangement in the liquid and a vapor state at a given temperature okay so the answer can be given if we consider molecular arrangement suppose in this liquid how the molecules are arranged if we know then we can easily answer to it all right where does the heat goes so how much supplying we how much we are supplying heat energy the liquid state is more ordered than the vapor state yes right in liquid in liquid molecule arrangement is uh, more ordered than the gaseous state okay the liquid state is more ordered than the vapor state means gaseous state in other words in other words in another form how can we define it vapor state is more random or disordered yes vapor means gaseous state is more disordered okay to disturb the regular arrangement in a liquid state some work must be done must be done it is not done it is done this work done on the system increases randomness but not a temperature at the boiling point okay so now he is answered c here so it is a water and we supplying heat energy continuously so at boiling point uh, what happens at constant temperature whole water converted into vapor that is steam converted into steam but temperature do not uh, show as it is changing so that means it shows a constant temperature and uh, what we apply here we applying this heat that heat energy where it go you know this heat energy can utilized by the molecule to move in random direction yes it lies it is this heat energy is utilized by the molecule to move in random direction so that is why he is here this is the question so this is the answer to the above question since at the boiling point there is a more randomness yes at boiling point more randomness why because more heat we are supplying okay so more randomness in vapor phase than liquid phase we can say that entropy of the vapor is greater than the than that of liquid yes entropy of vapor is more why because its uh, randomness is more and randomness more means entropy more and a gaseous and uh, liquid state uh, having the more ordered means less disorder less disorder means less entropy arguing on some arguing on on the same line we can say that entropy of liquid is greater than the entropy of solid yes okay entropy of liquid in in liquid comparing to solid comparing to solid in liquid less random less uh, sorry uh, comparing to it more randomness present comparing to solid so solid has a more ordered and it is somewhat greater disorder than this so greater disorder means it has more entropy than solid so that is why general formula is also given here so entropy s yes, indicates entropy entropy of vapor is greater than the entropy of liquid it is greater than the entropy of solid vapor means it is a gas okay entropy of gas is greater than entropy of liquid and that is also greater than entropy of solid so solid has a least entropy gas has a most entropy okay friends don't forget this video watching till end